What's up? <clears throat> it's Carcino. Let's talk about it. Listen. While everybody is talking about all this craziness, let's talk about reality for a minute. Leslie Jones was tired and sick of everybody talking about her name when she heard it on The Breakfast Club. She wasn't really even the big news when they mentioned her name. Kevin Hart is the one that really brought her name up. But she was like, Cat Williams and Kevin Hart can keep my name out of their mouth unless they going to use their mouth to eat me out. Now, she went on to expose everything else. That it was not them who really gave her her shot in this business. That it was uh, Chris Rock and uh, Neil Brennan is the ones that really gave her her shot in this business. Now, Neil Brennan is the, uh, he's a white comedian. He's more of a writer. But he's, him and David Chappelle wrote together. You know, they're the ones that really was working as a team, as a tandem. So it was Neil and and really Chris Rock that gave her her uh, opportunity. She said it wasn't Kevin Hart or Cat Williams, but she respect Cat because Cat actually put women on the shows, you know. And it's hard out here for women actors anyway. But she's like Kevin Hart never put women on his shows. And it's like, well, Kevin, what woman besides Tiffany Haddish had you even gotten behind? Like, what women have you ever put out on any show that you've done? None. You haven't even put Tiffany Haddish out on a show. <laughs> like, stand-up-wise. So, she's basically saying both of them. She's like, why y'all going back and forth? You know what you ain't doing? Telling, telling jokes. Get back to doing your doggone jobs. So... That was interesting because the fact she said Kevin Hart told her that she would never make it as a comedian. And that was another thing that was shocking. So for him to just name drop people the way he was on The Breakfast Club and keep talking about who they under, that is just strange. Like, especially, I would never name drop somebody I said would never be something. I mean, that's that's a heck of a thing. He didn't believe in her comedy. That's one thing. If you don't believe in somebody's comedy, that's fine. But I would never tell somebody that. <coughs> so, this image and light that we have of Kevin Hart that I even held him up to. I'm like, well, the guy's a genuine human being. Maybe there's more under the surface than we just don't know, that we really don't know Kevin Hart. You know, plus Leslie Jones, with both of them, they, they could be standing on each other's shoulders and, and trying to go in there. She would be whooping both of them at the same time. That's a big, capable black woman. She don't look like she play any games. So she's had quite success in the films. And she was the only bright spot in Ghostbusters. And she was, uh, she's great on Saturday Night Live. So she's definitely, her niche of comedy actually works. But they need a better format for women comedians. You know, you see more chances for white comedians, for females, and it's not even a big market for them, but they're gravitated to and respected a lot more on this scale than black female comedians. You know, that's the only thing where your looks can get you in trouble. If you're a, a comedian, you look 
cute and guys think you really hot, you gonna have a problem being a comedian because they're like, this woman ain't gonna make me laugh. I wanna sleep with her. <laughs> you gotta be like a plain Jane or something. So, for women, it's always been a, a, just a certain different appeal to it. Where, man, it's just like, this is a man-dominated business. You know, we can run this thing here. But Cat Women, Williams has always, like, been diverse and actually helped artists and helped put people on the show, so... It's shocking that any comedian would say anything negative about Cat Williams in that essence because I've seen him go above and beyond to help other comedians. Not to say Kevin hasn't, and I'm quite sure he has too. But as far as female comedians, I saw a lot of female comedians on Kevin, I mean, Cat Williams shows. Never saw one on Kevin Hart. Many I've saw on Cat Williams. So. That's the truth there. So I could never have anything negative to say. On that note. About Cat Williams at all. That's one you could tip your hat to Cat on. Because he will definitely put some female comics out there. And they're going to be funny. See that's the thing. Male, female, whatever. They're going to be funny. If you on Cat Williams' show, you're going to be funny. I wouldn't have known Dion Cole until I saw him with Cat Williams. And people say, he's from Chicago. He's been out a long time. I'm like, I just didn't see him until he was with Cat. And he blew past a lot of other comedians because he definitely was ready. He was funny. So, on that note, your boy Carcino here and I am out.